Oh. My God. guys welcome back to the channel and I know my tutorial uh, on my uh, previous light painting video was not too um, good I guess I mean I like I didn't go into enough details I mean I had one person say they didn't fully understand so I'm gonna try and go into better detail by myself with nobody else because I was kind of distracted because I was working on uh, somebody's car light painter car and that's my first time doing photography like down somebody else's car so you're only gonna need three things you're gonna need obviously a camera any camera will work and this is a picture by the way this is no video that we're about to do this is a picture tutorial and I'm using my a6000 you can use your phone too I believe but you can use most cameras and another thing we're gonna need is a decent light I picked up this hyper tough uh, magnet light that recharges by uh, plugging it in and I like this light because you can hold it like this and it covers good amount of ground and the third thing obviously is going to be a tripod, but you guys are currently on that. We're going to be putting the A6000 on the tripod once it gets dark enough, as you can tell. It's still pretty bright outside, um, so it needs to be completely pitch black, but we are going to be light painting my car. And this is a good photography trick, and you can get really cool photos out of this. Uh, if you watch my last video of uh, light painting, it's like a few videos down, you'll see a Dodge Charger, or, or red or orange Dodge Charger to be exact. And that's also one of my light painting videos. I've done, this will be my third one so far. Alrighty guys, uh, so we're gonna wait until it gets a little bit darker. Uh, then we're gonna pull my car around. I'm gonna wipe it, the dust off a little bit, of obviously. Then I'm just gonna show you guys how it works. Alrighty guys, so I have my ISO at 125. It could be adjusted. I have my shutter speed at 15. Uh, I have my exposure at 22. And I'm actually going to be working on the really painting my truck just to see if it's dark enough. I'm pretty sure it is, but we're going to test it out real quick on the truck. And if it works out good, we're going to pull the Mustang right here and we're going to do some light painting on that. So basically, um, when you're taking a picture, it's going to be black. Um, you may want to wear black clothes. Um, I'm not right now. But basically, for those 15 seconds, you have 15 seconds to cover your whole entire vehicle with this light. So basically, you want to go in this motion cover as much light as possible and in the back once you get to the back of the vehicle you can have like a whole bunch of uh stripes lines uh, by going like this in a circular motion you can add circles in the background you guys will see the photos uh at the end of the video uh you know just to show you guys what it looks like i'll show you like a little snippet on the camera but to see the full quality of the photo stay till the end guys and let's try this out gonna hit re not record but capture now it's currently capturing the photo of the vehicle so we're going to cover the vehicle as much as we can the entire thing we're going to come back have a little bit of effect if it will show in the camera hopefully we're going to do a couple of circular motions and now 15 seconds went by the camera snapped the picture and it'll take a second for it to process Okay, so the photo was still a little, a little bit dark. So I'm gonna turn up the exposure where the ISO up a little bit. If I go try the ISO first, now we'll show you the current settings after that. ISO is now at 320, so we're gonna try it again. You guys already know what it looks like, so I'm not gonna go ahead and record this part. I'm gonna take a few pictures of the truck. Now we'll show you what they look like. Okay, so I got two photos. So this one is, is without all the lines. Oh, that's the moon. There's one with all the lines in the background. You can do whatever shapes you want. You can do hard shapes. It just takes practice. You gotta play with the camera a little bit and play with the settings depending on your lighting. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna pull my car over and we're gonna do the car next. But like I said, stay till the end of the video to see what these pictures look like in the end in full raw quality. Doing the Mustang now. And we got the moon up in the sky, which is gonna add a really cool effect. But I think we're about to get a blowtorch out. I don't know why this is not focusing at all. There we go, it's focused. But we got the demon eyes out on the Mustang. This is gonna look sick. Blowtorch.
Oh my god. Wow. Okay, guys. So you are not. Whoo. I was not expecting to do this in today's uh, video of light painting, but. I don't know why I just won't focus. This is dumb, but. That's what it looks like so far. Like I said, guys. Stay till the very end for the results and follow me on Instagram to see these on, you know, obviously my Instagram. So. So, guys, I hope you get the concept from this. Uh, I'm going to give a few more pictures and. After the pictures, I will be right back, and I will wrap up the video after that. And like I said, stay till the end, guys. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, ReaperGT. Instagram, I should be the first one to pop up. So, guys, this is an awesome photo shoot. Kind of last minute, but, guys, you're going to love it. All right, guys, about to run this through the computer. And I was not expecting to bring the blowtorch out. But, guys, if this tutorial helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe. And trust me, we're going to be doing a lot more photography uh, this summer. I'm expecting to get more vehicles but going to be cracking out this a lot this summer and man i was actually like i said i was not expecting to bring the torch out that was my first time ever trying it with a torch so guys like i said glad you stayed till the end to the people that did stay to watch the uh you know pictures so guys like comment and subscribe see you guys in the next one